Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to my Blender Lightmap tutorial series. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to, well, first we're going to set up a quick and simple scene, and then I'm going to show you how to bake in shadows, which can be useful for, say, creating light maps for use in an external engine, or in, for game use. Okay, um, oh, as well as speeding up your own uh, render times in the future. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a plane. So we're gonna hit space, we're gonna type add plane, and five's too small, I'm gonna do 10. All right, alternatively to create the plane, you can go over here to add mesh, and then select plane, and then I'll move it down negative one on the Z axis. All right. Now what we're going to do is I am going to go into edit mode, down here in edge select, and I'm going to select these two edges, and I'm going to hit E, and then I'm going to hit Z to lock it on the Z axis, and let's take it up five. All right. Now this thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the cube around a little bit. And go back to face select. And I'm just going to create a really, you know, random object. It's kind of. Oops. Actually, you know what? This is just for example, so I guess none of this really matters. Okay, and I'm going to leave the light in the default position. All right, so the first thing we need to do, uh, in order to be able to actually see our light map inside of Blender, uh, we need to be in GLSL mode. Now, I'm already on it by default. However, you can hit in, and then under display for shading. Uh, by default, it's at multi-texture, and then select GLSL. The next thing down here, your viewport shading needs to be set to textured. All right. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to combine the plane and the cubes together. So right click the plane, hold shift, and then right click our cubes and then hit control J. And now as you can see, they're all one object. All right. So now hit A to select all, all the faces and then hit U, and we're just gonna do a smart UV unwrap. This won't be the best unwrap, but it will work. All right, now we're gonna hit Tab. We're gonna go over to our materials, make sure our materials applied. Okay. Now we need to create a new image. So down here at the bottom, left click, drag, and hit in to get this out of the way. All right. And then down here we see the little cube, which is the 3D view. We're going to select the UV image editor. All right, now I'll go in back into edit mode. I'm going to drop out the render results. All right, so we're going to load up a new image and we're going to make this a 2048 by 2048 and I'm going to call it light map. All right, and we're going to hit okay. All right, so it already did all the unwrapping for us. So the next thing we're going to do is hit tab to get out of uh, that view. We're going to, with our uh, scene mesh selected, uh, the default material have its, already has a texture applied. So for type, we're going to do image or movie. And then the third option under image is light map, which will be generated. And then mapping, coordinates, UV. All right, we're just going to leave everything else default. Now what we need to do is we need to go to render. At the bottom where you see bake. Bake mode, shadows. And if you go into edit view. And then select bake. You can see over here it's 
making our light map. All right, now let's get out of edit mode. All right, right click in the middle here, and then join area, and then we have our scene back. All right, so now you can see our light map, which came out kind of nice. If you were to say, create a new cube, you can see it with self shadow onto itself, although you can't see it back there. So I won't actually show that example. All right. So that concludes this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, go on and subscribe to the forum. Check the description for that as well if you'd like to keep up to date with what we'll be doing, well, what I'll be doing in the future. You can also follow me on Twitter. Um, thank you.